that's a great win. LSU's a great team, so. Uh, Continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just being able to come out and to play as well as we did, it shows a lot about us. You know, our first SEC road game to come out and win so so convincingly is just it gives us a lot of confidence. Obviously, the difference in shooting percentage was the very morning streak of apparent. But what are the other ways in which y'all have improved these last few games? Do you think uh, our defense has been a lot more consistent? We, we we've been putting two halves together, and uh, it's been definitely showing. Uh, I mean, we've just been following the game plan, really, and just executing it. I was talking about putting two halves together. How important is it to put that uh, big first half together, especially on the road like you guys did at LSU, and then obviously not have to play tomorrow? Um, because, you know, SEC is loaded with a lot of good teams. So, I mean, if you get down in this league, you can't come back a lot of the time, or it'll be a lot tougher. And is that something you focus on even more when you go to somebody else's building, like coming out and taking care of business for the first five, ten minutes? Yeah, it is definitely. Uh, yeah, I think our defense has been uh, as good as been as good as it's been all year. I mean, we held a couple of really good teams, you know, fifty or something points. So, um, I mean, we've been scoring the ball well, but that's not the only thing that's been going for us. Well, what else has been going? Defense, <laughs> like we just talked about, uh, just just not letting guys get into their sets, and you know, we we know where people like to get their shots from, just so just keep them away from those spots. Uh, I think effort's been a lot, uh, a big part of that. You know, guys were catching the ball at the beginning of the year. We weren't closing out as hard as we could. So, uh, these last couple games, you know, guys have stepped up and got on the guys about, you know, just playing hard every play. Also, this coaching staff always emphasizes defense, but had that become even more apparent where when y'all went through that little slide at the start of the season or just up the intensity on that end of the floor? Yeah, definitely. We've just been, um, you know, coaches have been the same way all year, just you know, stressing to us how important defense is. And we finally, you know, picked it up. Guys coming off the bench and, you know, not letting the intensity off from, you know, starting guys. Have you seen much of Texas A&M yet? Uh, no, not really. What do you remember from playing with them? Uh, they're a fast team. They're really athletic. Um, Alex Caruso, I know, is really athletic. Uh, our friend Jordan Green plays for him. So I know he's a pretty good player. So, I mean, they're, they're pretty loaded across the board. How much different is the mood and the confidence level now compared to after the North Carolina State debacle? Um, I mean, we haven't lost any confidence, haven't gained a whole lot of confidence. We've just been pretty even killed the whole year. Um, so we're just going to approach the next game just like any other game. You guys went down after North Carolina State? I mean, yeah, but the next day of practice, we knew we had to brush it off because we had to play again in a couple of days. You mentioned uh, your friend. Nah, nah, nothing like that. Uh, you guys are starting to maybe talk about things on this past stretch. Is this something that you guys look at and say, hey, this can't possibly stay as hot as it has been? Or is this something that you say, we thought we could have been shooting like this all season? Uh, we we should have been shooting like that all season. Just guys um, just getting more shots up in our, their downtime. And if we can just keep that up the whole year, then I think we'll be on, on good terms. You guys have a few more turnovers than normal uh, with LSU. Is there maybe some positive in that? And Um, I don't really know that. I know that I just know they were trapping a lot in that press, but I mean, we just got to take care of the ball better. It really wasn't any positives or negatives that came out of it. How much does that what you get from uh, Reese and Edwards off the bench the last few games? Uh, it definitely takes a big load off of guys like, you know, Jerron and, you know, myself and Jordan, the wing guards. Somebody like DeMontre can come in and hit shots. He'll play hard for you every, every play down. And, you know, Darius and playing his plays hard out lately, so uh, they've just been help giving us a big boost. Josh, have you seen anything specific from defense that has just been the way you and Antonio have been shooting the ball in the past two or three games? I mean, I'm sure everybody, they all focus on Jordan in the perimeter, but for you guys, you're also dealing with something to worry about. Have you seen the teams react differently? Uh, yeah, definitely. They haven't really been leaving me wide open anymore. Uh, you know, when Antonio's hitting four threes and a half, I mean, guys can't double off of us, so it makes it a lot easier on guys like Jordan to get space in the lane, they can't help as much. And guys like Jerron and Darnell, people can't double team them.